contestants this evening, a wonderful, lovely lady. Please welcome Holly, hard to beat, Willoughby! <laughs> gentleman whose sporting prowess was normally at Lowe's. Tonight he's at Lakeside. He is the cat. He is Phil Tufno! <laughs> Well, how's that for a dance routine? Good old toughers. <laughs> Absolutely go, wondered, Phil. Fine. And uh, there's Bobby, the coach, who's looked after these two players. Unfortunately, the ball threw it out, the competition proper. But this one is on pride. Well, even though Holly and Phil won't be going through to the semi-final, both players should be proud of how they've played. Having lost both games, Holly and Phil are playing for pride alone as they go toe-to-toe -to -toe tonight in their third and final group match. A confident toughers began the tournament against the Galloping Major. However, Hewitt's sharp arrow saw him charge into the lead. 58. Although the cat clawed back. 80. Missing the winning double top allowed James to snatch the match. Game shot. Ah, oh, disappointed, disappointed. Uh, wanted to get off to a winning start. Uh, James played well, uh, and I played badly. I played badly. In his next match against Michael, Phil knew he needed a win if he was to be top cat. Pressure's on me. I've lost my first game. I've got to win every other game to get back into it. So, and I want to. But with the pressure on, Tuffers took his eye off the board, and it was game, shot, and match when the spirit checked out with a dazzling double one, leaving Tuffers out of the semi final. Uh, lost again. Gutted. Um, he's right up for it, Michael. He wants it, he wants it. He's focused seriously back there. He's practicing, practicing, sledging me, he was. He was giving me stick. I am gutted, you know what I mean? Because now I've got to um, sit here and watch the semi-final and the final, and uh, I wanted to be in it. With Phil resigned to watching the semi-final from the wings, is Holly hopeful about tonight's match? You're walking out at the lakeside in front of a load of massive darts fans and you're about to play a game. Holly began her first match against the Spirit with some excellent arrows. Started off brilliantly, got a bullseye in my first shot, which was great. Come on! However, Michael soon levelled the scores, fighting back with some skillful shots. 78. With both players rapidly reaching the doubles, Holly hit trouble as Michael checked out with a double 17. Game shot! And the match! I'm really pleased our game went quite quickly. In fact, it was it kind of shocked me when it was over. I was like, oh, is that it? Is that it? Is it over? Yeah. Holly's second match was against her guru, James the Galloping Major Hewitt. James has been almost like my second mentor during this tournament. Gentleman Jim dashed into an early lead. 61. When he hit double trouble, Miss Hard to Beat managed to pull alongside. James seemed to get really high scores straight away and he got down to his final double. He just kind of kept missing it, which meant I could catch up. And so we were both on the doubles at the same time. Holly tried hard to finish the game, but the Major stole the match with yet another lucky double one. Game shot! And the match! It's a great... I mean, Holly was a great opponent, and it was very close. I was lucky with the lucky one again. Despite not winning a match, Holly remains philosophical. I'd love to win a game. Of course I'd love to win a game. It'd be brilliant, but if don't, so be it. And Phil is under no illusion that unless he wins tonight, he takes home the booby prize. Me and Holly are up there playing for the wooden spoon. None of us have won nothing, and I've got to win this one. What? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's Phil to throw it first. Game on. Yes, applause all round for both our celebs, but Phil Tufnell, Bobby's favourite. I won't be going much further now. Look at that, what a great start. That's the proper toughers. 
Last start there. Trouble 20 to give him on good. Yes, it's got the place rocking and rolling. So, Holly, you need a lot. Oh, take your time, darling. The nerves have really got through to Holly throughout. Oh. 16. But tough as, as I say, well, he's throwing here with Bobby's darts because uh, we saw that he threw his own darts into the lake. 45. Come on. Nice oh, and easy. Bobby's encouraging her along the way. That's better. A lot better. Oh, God. Oh, that's still oh, my God. pushing the oh, heart through the air too fast. Even uh, Tuffers is rushing now. 13. Started off excellent. Perfect three darts for him. Well, there's Holly's sister Kelly. She runs a music business. And I'm sure Holly would like to hear the sound of music in some high scores. It's gone, isn't it? Right, just forget where you're from now. Just forget it. <laughs> A double 82 and a treble. Let's have another look right in the corner, but there it is. Is it in the trebles now? I think uh, Tuffers really has the best action out of all the celebrities. This is better for Molly. That's better. 85. All three in the board and two trebles. Gets applause. Let's have a look at these three. Treble eight. And now treble 15. Good dog, good dog. Good dog, good dog. This is the way this showbiz championship has taken part. Friendships oh, nice. in abundance. 65. 85 with the last throw, Dolly. Let's see if she can better that. Oh. Ten. Only ten. Tough as here on a roll. Still getting advice from his mentor, Bobby George. Pull your darts down a bit. That's it. Forty. Well, Holly. Doing the right thing now, she's making them all count by throwing at the ball. 49. Phil well Ewing 156. Yeah. He could finish this, I would think, if he was Keep down at there, the mate. dog and duck. Keep out the top. Not that far. 38. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Ollie. Well, well, there's a trouble. 16 it is. Oh, yeah. 67. <laughs> Phil, you require 118. OK, trouble 20 leaves 58. 12 leaves 106. 18. <laughs> well, at least Holly's been getting three dance in the board. She's been very nervous. Throughout the tournament. 45. Who you require 100. We're looking at Dawn there, Phil's wife, giving him big support. Stay there. And again, big 20. Oh. 58. Leaves him 42. And Holly, 150 points behind. But enjoying it now because she's making all three darts count. I think she'd like to play another match with Holly. 36. Oh, Who you require? 42. Double 18. Double 18. At the top. Oh, down, but downstairs. When he means downstairs, going for the odd 26. numbers. 26. Holly, you require 156. Two treble 20s, double 18, Holly. 
He's got that 25 again. What have we got? 42. Two eights. Bill, you require 16. Double eight. Double eight. Double eight. So there are. Bobby spelt out for the match. Double eight for Phil. The cat toughers. It's a good marker, though. That's double four. Good side for a left-hander. Eight. Holly, you require 114. Stay up there, Dom. Stay up there. Done so, well. 39. 39. Will you require eight? We're looking to finish this one. Will uh, Phil wants double four? Yes, that's the restart for a leg of the championship. 34. What a match for Tuppers. There it is. 34th dart of this match for Tuppers. And big hugs all around. Ladies and gentlemen, Willoughby and Tufnell, round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Tufnell, come here and talk to me. Come here and talk. First of all, I want to talk to our loser here, Holes. Yeah. Holly, not quite so hard to beat, Willoughby, yes? Yes, indeed. Um, I think I'm the only one that's lost everything now. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's OK, because I'm better than I was when I first turned up to your house. Yeah. You've done very well, darling. Thank you. <laughs> and Top Cat here. They don't call him Top Cat for nothing, do they? Round of applause. <laughs> now, you had a lot of friends and family in tonight as well. Did that make you super nervous? Because it always makes me nervous when I've got the pals in. Do you know what? It was worse, because this is the first time they've been here, and I could hear my sister going, Go on, Ollie! Like this, and if I just wanted to turn around and go, Cheers, Kel! Like that. And I was like, No, I can't do that I'm in the middle of a game. So, yeah, in a way, it does make you nervous. You've been blimmin' marvellous, love. Marvellous. We've loved your work. We've loved your work. <laughs> Mr. Tufnell. Now, it was a foregone conclusion that you were out of the tournament, so the pressure was off. Is that why you were so brilliant? I know, I know, I know. I managed to beat Holly. Sorry, love. Sorry, love. Um, well... uh, <laughs> no gentleman here. No. Just kidding, just oh, kidding. No. Oh, no. no, great, yeah, at least I managed to win one. Yeah. Are you, do you feel you've vindicated yourself then? No. Redeemed yourself a little bit? No, not at all. I haven't vindicated myself at all. Did you have a fun time? How was the lakeside experience? Tuffers? I've had a blinding time at the lakeside in a country club in a house. I know that you've played quite badly in some of the, well, by your standards in some of the previous games, yeah. and we thought you'd like to know that that was the shortest game that we oh, played. Right. So, marvellous. Yeah. 34 darts that was. 34. 34 dark games. Well, well, well that's good then. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. 34. Yeah. Bloody hell. There you go. Uh, and also, a little bird told me in my ear earlier that you were playing with Bobby's darts. Well, the governor gave me the darts. You know, I mean, I threw the other ones in the lake after my last game, and I missed all the carp and all the tench and all the bream. Uh, but uh, yeah, he gave me his darts, and uh, well, there you go. So you didn't throw your toys out the pram, you threw your darts in the lake? I've been throwing my toys out the pram for hours back there. <laughs> and Holly, has this made you ever want to throw another dart again, or have you been put off for life? No way. I, this makes me more eager to play darts. The fact is, I'm so much better than I was, so if I can't beat this lot, I'm going to go back to my pub and hustle them. <laughs> hey. <laughs> The only place where we're going to play darts, though, from now on, is Frimley Green. Yeah, at the Yeah, you've got a taste for it. You've got a taste for it. Have you got a final message for your supporters who've been marvellous? Oh, yeah, thank you so much. There's a really good post that says, Victory Sweet for Little Miss Hard to Beat. Hello, Scott. So, yes, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. I've been And you, Tuffers? Thank you, Frimley Green. I'll see you in the ball. Have I got a winner? Have you got a winner in your, in your group? Well, I thought James, the galloping major, is playing quite nicely. Yeah. You two have bonded, haven't you? Uh, what do you mean, bonded? Well, yeah, not in that way, but, you know, you got on. Uh, yeah, well, we're getting on OK Yar at the moment. And, uh, but Michael uh, is improved. Right. 
Like I said, he's in the, we've called him the skirting, the skirting ball kid. <laughs> and he's improved so much. I'd like to see him get there. Cool. So it's all to play for. Let's see what this match has just done to our leaderboard. So Phil finally found his form and beat Holly with an impressive 34 darts. He finishes the tournament with two points. Holly not only takes home the wooden spoon, but also is now familiar with the darting term, three in a bed. <laughs> I don't know. There. That's what, what I'm here to ask In the words you. of Nikki, what was that? What, what's going on out there? What did just go on out there? I have no idea. That was the worst game I've ever played yet. Not the way it's meant to go at all, was it? No. I thought the girls were going to come out of nowhere and I know. storm into an all-female well, final. Well, Vicky still might. Yeah, Vicky's still in with Vicky's the chance. Vicky still might. How was Phil as a competitor? Oh, he's just lovely. He's just such, oh. a, such a lovely... And do you know what? I'm kind of glad in a way, because... I knew he didn't want to lose to me. <laughs> you know, everyone was like, yeah, yeah, I'll probably beat Holly. So that's one, definitely. And I think if he'd have lost to me, he would have just got ribbed by everyone else. So I'm kind of glad in a way that he sort of, he beat me. And he beat me with such style. 34 darts. He did. Gone. I, I, I hate to say it, but he did. He trampled. No, he he stormed <laughs> through. He broke two records. Did he? Fastest time and the least amount of darts oh. this far in the tournament. Too, too little, too late, though. Do I get the record for being the worst? I, <laughs> <laughs> now, I didn't want to highlight it, but ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the only person who hasn't won the game. Yay! It is an achievement in itself, Thank Holly. You. An achievement in itself. Talk me through the game as it went. Were you scared from the onset, or um, did it all go wrong at one point? Do you know or? what happened? All of a sudden, it was like I had somebody else's arm. It was like I was just... It was something like it was just cutting short. It was just like, just like I don't know. Anyway, but it was just rubbish. And and then I just had really, I was getting really low scores, and he was running out like ninety, and I was having seven. And and did that's you that, Did you find him intimidating? Did he put you off himself? No, not at all. Not at all. Not in the slightest. He couldn't have been more kind of for me in a way. Yeah. I think they all feel a bit sorry for me actually. But the other thing was my um my sister's in as well, and I could hear her keep going, go on, Ollie, and you know when you can hear their voice straight away, and I kept sort of turning around, sort of wave her, and I think as I waved, it sort of went off there. Damn family, they're always ruining <laughs> everything. <laughs> I would have went right in there. <laughs> best part of it? Um, best part, I think, was seeing Phil's face when he won, because he just, he so wanted it, and I think it was just a mixture of just sheer relief and like joy and the fact that he did it so well as well with such style so you're such a good winner i hate that Me? the lads were coming in and going a good winner, i lost a because good loser. They, a good loser i mean sorry good winner <laughs> Nothing i good wish you were a good me. winner but you're too kind a loser you wish everyone else the best and the other guys are slating each other and giving excuses and you do know by the way that phil wasn't using his own arms no i, I know so i hear but you know what it's funny because he was complaining about his darts in training and he goes, just don't get on with them and don't get on with them. And he was using bobbies on that day. And when he was using bobbies, he was great. So I don't know why he didn't use them earlier. How do you feel about that? They're darts, aren't they? Well, I don't know. Bobby's darts <laughs> seem to know their way to the bullseye into the 20s, you know? I They've been there Bobby enough times. I should have put Bobby in a blonde wig yeah, and just yeah. put him in my dress just to upstage him. You've got his darts. I've got Bobby. <laughs> and, and you've done excellently well on the fashioning and the shirts. Thanks very much. Never, never a, a dull moment with Holly? Well, to be fair, the, it doesn't do much for the waistline of the shirt, so yeah, no. I had to tie it in a little but bit. But you'll otherwise. be keeping it as an amazing souvenir. I that. will. I like the hard to beat bit on the back, although it may not be true. Tell me the, the sum up the tournament thus far for you. Best bits um, and worst bits. Well, overall, I think the tournament's been, it's been such a laugh and everybody's just been great. It's been a really good atmosphere, sort of backstage and sort of playing darts and everybody kind of helping each other out and everybody getting drunk, which has been nice. <laughs> um, and the best bits, I think, was the first bullseye I got, yeah. which was just great. An achievement in itself. And re yeah, wasn't it? Like, just to get that, you know, I'm here at the lakeside, I got a bullseye in front of all these people. So that was really good. Um, in fact, do you know what? I'd have been more disappointed if I hadn't have got a bullseye and won one game. The fact I got a bullseye was, that was great. I think that's an excellent way to Worst point. Um, 
I don't know, really. Not winning that's <laughs> anything. Fair that's that's pretty bound bad. to be a worse point. Well, yeah. Holly, you, if, if nothing else, you have brought a touch of glamour and style oh, to the tournament thus far. Yeah. And boys and girls, oh. can we give her a round of applause? Oh. The biggest loser yeah. of the star on zero, Holly Hard to Beat Willoughby! Yeah. Holly, you were fantastic. But for every loser, there is indeed a winner and I suspect probably a fairly smug winner. Put your hands together. This is Phil the Cat Tufnell. <laughs> Phil the Cat oh, back again. There you go. So, a happy man? Oh, oh managed to win one. I beat Holly, bless, bless. Sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. But... Yeah. What a beat. Oh, was it good? Oh, well, you've broken, the, shattered the record books. Oh, record books. Fastest game yet, and in the lowest amount of time, you did in just 34 throws. 34? 34. 34 throws. You That's got 501 off the board. millions, isn't it? Not really. No, not really. No, it's no, best no. So glad I've won one. Glad I've won one. Sorry, I just had to take it out on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Talk me through walking out and the crowd and what it felt like. Uh, well, we had a good time, didn't we? We did have a We had time. a great time. We had a great time. No pressure. We just went out there and had a little go. Now, why don't I believe that, no, Phil? We did. No pressure. We did. we did. It was good. It was good fun. It was good. You left here last time saying, I'm not going to be the one on zero. No, <laughs> no. But there you go. So there was a little bit of pressure not to finish three lost games. Well, obviously, you don't want to lose every game that you're playing. But, I mean, if I would have lost one to Holly, it wouldn't have been a problem. Oh. Isn't he a charmer? I would have gone home happy 3-0. No, it doesn't wash here, mate. No, it <laughs> I'm so glad I won. <laughs> Was it your easiest game yet? Your toughest game yet? Concentration? Uh, um, I don't know. I, didn't, I don't think I really had a game plan. Perhaps I should have thought a little bit more about it, you know what I mean? But I didn't have much of a game plan. But uh, next time, I'm going to have a game plan. So what did you go out there thinking? I don't know. You just go out there to play some darts and try and hit the board. Yeah? Yeah, it kind of just all... Were you going for the 20s again? Yeah, go for the 20s. You've got to go for the 20s. Yeah, I'm not yeah. one of these little girls, you know, not girls, sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Careful footing now. No, 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 because all the boys there, I'm not a 19 for you. You've got to go for the 20s. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's paid off. Well, it's paid off. I mean, I mean, can't you see? You know, I'm going home now. I, I, c I, I couldn't help but notice uh, those lovely new arrows you've acquired. For well, yourself. Mr. George gave me, because I threw the other mm. ones in the lake, and so I didn't have any darts. <laughs> And uh, Mr. Bobby George, uh, the legend that he is, he said, go on, you can borrow mine, son. And why did you throw your last ones away, Phil? Because I was that disappointed. No. But not anymore, not anymore. I beat not Holly. Anymore. I beat the god that is Holly Willoughby <laughs> on the dance. Hard to beat. Hard to beat Holly Indeed. Willoughby. And she is hard to beat. She put up a great fight. And you're feeling proud. You can go back to your, your fellow sportsmen with your head up high. Head up high. How's I'm the experience been for you? The it's tournament been fantastic. Thus far? It's been brilliant. It's been brilliant. As you say, we were just milking it a little bit at the end yeah. there because we didn't have anything to play for, uh, which is a shame. But uh, <laughs> the crowd is now massive out there. It's massive out Jeez. there. It's huge and everyone was having a cheer and everything. Best part? Best part, um, just being there, mate, just being there. It's brilliant. Uh, yeah. Working with Bobby George, going up there on the hockey at Frimley Green and throwing some darts. Another one ticked off the list, mate. Yeah. That is the nuts, mate, I'm telling you. <laughs> and I ask you again, I've asked you about before, Bobby, H how was he? Bobby's just lovely. Like, he looks at me, I can see him kind of going, like, look at him and go, is it going to be the one, Bobby? Am I going to win this one? And you can see in his eyes, it's like, probably not, but <laughs> give me your best shot. And I'm like, OK. But can you walk away here now knowing that you've had the experience of a life having Bobby, the Absolutely. king of Bling George, train you on how not to play Not many darts? people get to say that, do they? They don't. And not many people get to say that they've played on the stage at Frimley Green either. Very true. Or yeah. scored a bullseye. For the rest of the tournament, yeah. who should I be mortgaging my entire family's house on? I don't know. I think it's an open contest. I don't know. I don't know who's going to win it. I reckon uh, the Spirit Lavelle. Really? He's a bit of a dark horse, He's eh? a dark horse, and I think he's so pumped up around the back he there. He's so pumped up, and I think he's, he, he's in the zone. He's I not think hitting those skirting boards anymore, is he's he? Not no, no, he's not. I, th I think he's been hustling, you guys. He's been, he's been <laughs> practicing <laughs> hard. He's been practicing hard. I'm going to say Vicky. Vicky. Vicky Butler. Sticking Butler. up for those girls. Absolutely, because I think she's going to take the sticks round, and then I think if she's in the final, I don't know what it is. She's just got that luck thing. Like, she just sort of... She sort of goes, oh, bullseye, <laughs> triple 20. And you're like, 
Wow, so I'm going to say her, and I hope she does it. There you go. Two different of opinions. The championship is anyone's. Let's have a little look at the leaderboard to remind ourselves of how the land lays right now. So.